cruises have become quite a popular way to spend a holiday in the recent years. The big advantage of our traditional holidays? Travel during the night and wake up at a new place every single day. So today I'm gonna go and take a cruise from Dubai and you are coming with me. Let's go! Dubai, probably the most well-known city in the Middle East and the center between Europe and Asia, making it its airport probably one of the most important hub airports in the entire world. But the thing is, so far everyone, including their own dogs, have already made a vlog about Dubai. I won't be doing exactly that, instead I will be embarking on the MSC Splendida, a cruise ship that will take me from Dubai to Abu Dhabi in the Emirates. The other destinations of the cruise will be featured in following videos. My goal for this series? To show you what it's like to go on a cruise, as well as what life is like in these Arabian countries. So we'll start off with my parents and mine arrival at Dubai airport. We were promptly greeted by MSC staff, who directed and guided us towards our transfer towards the cruise ship port. Whenever you enter a cruise ship, you are technically leaving the country you are boarding from. So a cruise port has a lot of similarity to an airport, requiring us to go through a security checkpoint as well. We checked into the cruise port and embarked on the ship. The ship boasts a ton of really fancy interior, a ton of different restaurants, bars and clubs. The purple. Why does it have this name, you may ask? Well, enough said. But I didn't particularly care about any of that. All I wanted was some good breakfast, being the greedy bastard that I am. And it's insane, there's so much stuff here. You wouldn't believe it. Oh my god, there's everything. Cakes, English breakfast, breakfast buns, Italian breakfast. German breakfast, cereals, breakfast buns, jams. Well, I'm just repeating words now, it's crazy. Oh my god, I'm digging in it. After my rich breakfast, I headed on to go and explore the ship a little. I then decided that I was hungry again and went for breakfast, round two. This time, chocolate rice krispies. The healthiest breakfast of all, except for a British one. British one is best. Mm. Welcome on board, sir. What are you? Welcome on board. Uh, yes, yeah, high five. Give me five. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> see ya. I went randomly exploring on the ship and what I found out, there is this amazing restaurant just popped out of nowhere. Oh my god, why did I still wear sunglasses indoors? But that's crazy cool. Eventually the sleepless night, well, it caught up on me. I went to bed, or well, um, couch in my case, and rested, only to wake up again afterwards for a lunch. That was actually already late enough to be called dinner. But it was lunch, because we had dinner right afterwards. I mean, I do skip a night every night and then, but skipping a meal? Uh, not on my watch. No, definitely not on my watch. Before actually going to dinner though, we headed on over to the deck to, well, go for a little swim and a visit in the hot tub. I recently got myself a waterproof GoPro, so you know what, I'm gonna go and take it swimming. The ship offers a fantastically dazzling view of the surrounding areas. 
I mean, it is around 30 meters in height on its main deck, and that's huge. So you see those massive amounts of cranes over there? Um, they used to say Dubai, the national bird of that city, is the crane. Get it? After our little swim, we took a couple of snapshots of Dubai. Then we headed to the Purple Jazz Bar. My parents enjoyed a little mumbo dance lesson and we also had cocktails. There we also learned about the drink packages that the ship offers. For price points between 30 and 50 euros per person per day, you can get yourself unlimited drinks and then you can drink until you're drunk and fall overboard. At which point they might stop giving you drinks. Well, maybe they still give you drinks, you did buy an unlimited drinks package after all. After a little fun time at the jazz bar, we got seated down for dinner and had a traditional European dining experience where we were served by a waiter. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We received appetizers, a main course and a dessert. And after that, I went to, well, you guessed it, for more food at the buffet. Um, please don't mention that I've gained weight in the comments, please. I'm quite aware of that myself. Finish up the meals. I decided to head to the aft. The yeah. aft. Where something was going on, I believe. The thing is, I can't really remember what was going on. Maybe nothing, maybe something. I was thinking of food all the time. And that's why I went to bed, to be able to wake up the next morning and have breakfast. Oh man, English breakfast, that's the best breakfast. And I'm not even English. Okay, I think this video has gone a little bit off the rails now. I'm not a food vlogger, but this video has kind of turned into a food vlog, hasn't it? Um, I think we need to fully reset the tone of this video now. A one, a two. A one, two, three, four. On our second day of the cruise, we arrived in Abu Dhabi. While Dubai is the most populous and famous city, Abu Dhabi functions as the capital of the Emirates. The political structure of this nation is quite a unique one. It is classified as a constitutional federal monarchy, consisting of seven separate emirates, each led by a hereditary emir. The word emir means king, an emirate, a kingdom. The country is ruled in joint decisions by those emirs. There is however still a parliament able to represent the wishes of the ordinary citizens. However, political parties are banned. Anyways, we started the day off by taking a shuttle bus towards the Mall of Abu Dhabi. The thing is, we realized that we didn't actually want to buy anything. So we left that mall again. Apparently it's quite famous. But, yeah. We then took a taxi towards the beach. We wanted to go for a swim and relax a little. Unfortunately, we were not allowed to take pictures at the beach. So... Well, I can definitely promise you we had a really great time at the beach. I can't show you any of that though. I also built a sand castle. Or, well, sand mosque in this case. Moving on, eventually we were done with taking a bath. We went for a walk and checked out some of the famous sites in this area. Abu Dhabi is host to the Special Olympics this year, for example, and the venue is currently being constructed. We also took a look at some of the famous hotels here in this area. Lots of very luxuriously built structures. Pretty impressive. But eventually we headed to one of the most impressive sites of the Emirates, and that is the Founders Memorial, constructed in honor of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. The Emirates is a very young country, which only acquired independence from Britain in 1971. Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan is considered the father of the nation, as it was him who wrote the constitution and united the other Emirates into this one nation. Unlike a statue though, which many other countries usually have for founders and other important people, this monument is a little bit different. It is made up of 1327 geometrical shapes that are suspended on a total of 1110 cables, which together show a 3D portrait of the founding father of the United Arabian Emirates. Noch mal auf der Kamera sagen, was du vorhin gesagt hast? Was vorhin gesagt hast? Ja. 
das Monument wirklich cool finde. Es drückt die Bescheidenheit aus. Es ist nicht so, dass er sozusagen jetzt trotzig allgegenwärtig ist in jedem Winkel von seinem Leben, sondern es ist halt so, dass er zwar allgegenwärtig ist, aber doch ähm, sich nicht irgendwie in alle möglichen Sachen einmischt. Mhm. Sheikh Zayed accomplished a lot in his lifetime, passing November the 2nd, 2004. It is clear to me that he was a very powerful and ambitious man, but also, most importantly, a humble one, a quality that I can most definitely learn something from. We decided to head towards the famous Hotel Atlantis and enjoy the view of the city near dusk. However, it was already getting a bit late, we didn't want to miss the boat, so we called an Uber. Yes, they have Uber in the United Arab Emirates. We got back to the ship and what did I do? Well, you guessed it right, I ate more food. Oh yeah, I love food. <laughs> This was just the beginning of my epic journey through the United Arab Emirates and Oman. I'll welcome you to join me for the remainder of the journey and if you wish to, well, know when the next video is out, make sure to leave your phone number in the comments and I'll call you once I've finished making the next video. Wasn't there like an easier way to do that instead? Huh, can't remember. Anyways, next up, the Surbanyas Island, a very, very pretty beach. Thanks for watching and see you next time.